first of all, I want to say, give a big thanks to Mike um, because um, I totally didn't plan on obviously um, giving my uh, Chromebook back when school ends. So I was in quite a struggle for some days to find a computer to work off of, and Mike was so generous to let me use uh, his Mac for that. Um, so thank you for that. Um, otherwise, I would be here with a half-finished presentation. Um, and um, I'm um, and uh, yeah, so um, also I want to just um, I want to just kind of have that as an extended Monday weekly talk. Um, so yes, let's let's hop right into that. So first of all, this is where I come from. This is my family. Um, with uh, see now I'll be walking. I'll project a little. With me right here. This is my great grandma. She turned uh, 98 this year um, in January, and she has been writing me uh, letters every two months, which are all uh, safely in my room. Um, those are my grandparents, and this, my grandfather here is actually the Rotarian. Um, everybody who uh, went to the um, um, Rotary International connected with. Um, yes, and uh, this, is my, this is my dad, this might be important, my mom. That's my little brother, his name is Tim. Um, I actually spoke to my parents today uh, over FaceTime to finalize our uh, plans for, for the traveling. And then one family member I obviously want to point out is my cat, Sheldon. Um, um, he is uh, the most cutest cat I know, and um, yeah, so that, that was just personally important to me. Um, this is where I come from, this is where I go to school. This is the Melanchthon Gymnasium in Berlin-Hellersdorf. Um, it's a school with about a thousand students, so it's way smaller than Jefferson. Um, so, um, and I think the main difference is um, that we actually do have windows. Is, uh, <laughs> no, 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 notable feature. Um, and then this is, this is my class where I come from. This is from our class trip to Amsterdam. Um, and I am, I am actually right here in the back with the cool glasses. Um, so yeah, um, I just thought I'd give a little background where I come from with a little visual, visualization. So then another thing that is quite fortunate today is the July, uh, June, excuse me, June 10th, which actually marks my uh, 10th month here. Because I arrived August 10th last year. Um, and that is that picture. It is, um, it is Josie, it is the show quiz, it is the Rolfos, it is uh, so many Rotarians um, greeting me, which was um, super amazing. I heard stories and my plane had an hour delay and apparently everybody was waiting for an hour. And every time people came out in front uh, before me because they didn't have to go through customs, um, apparently the whole crowd was like, and, uh, <laughs> but then it was like kind of a letdown. Um, but finally, when I came out with my two other exchange students, um, I had this, this crowd of 20, 30 people here, and the other two exchange students had like their family there at most, so I definitely won um, that, that contest. Um, so then, then uh, the evening continued with that we uh, drove to get, uh, to get pizza. Um, I don't quite remember the place name, but we got pizza, and I was very nervous, so I didn't even eat a piece. Um, I like nibbled on one a little. Um, and then I, uh, to uh, make friends really quick, I uh, brought out the German chocolate I brought and everybody loved it. So, um, <laughs> yes. So then I was with the showquists and um, they showed me around quite a lot. Um, being, um, so I took a ride with Laurie uh, around downtown Minneapolis and took some pictures. This picture is actually connected to the next slide right over there. Um, so yeah, um, um, I got shown around a lot, which was super fun. JT like took me to the school instead of going through four hours of Pathfinder. We worked that off in 30 minutes. Um, um, and then for uh, Tim's, bur Tim's birthday, we went to a Vikings game against. It was preseason against the Jaguars, and I think the Vikings just lost by like one touchdown, I think, um, which was super fun. And yeah, US Bank Stadium is uh, truly an incredible place. Um, it's uh, pretty. It's pretty awesome. Um, um, so um, then this, um, then right before the school year started, I think we went to the state fair, which was also super fun. I tried corn dogs. I don't really like them, but they were interesting. Um, um, but um, though I, I remember, um, yeah, Tim had a drumstick, JT had a pickle on a stick, um, all those all those good things. And um, uh, at a, I don't remember. I think it was 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 it was some, I think some throwing game. I won this little ball, and I think it's. If, if the cats didn't capture it yet, it's somewhere at home. Um, so yes. Um, so yeah, then the school year started, and um, I will talk about a little how my whole like involvement in school kind of started a little later. Um, but basically, it turned September 1st, and my birthday came. Um, so I got very great, awesome presents. For example, this little Vikings uh, quarter zipper here, 
Um, and then Laurie, um, um, if you don't know that, Laurie makes awesome cakes or cupcakes. So um, here again, example A. Um, I love Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So I got Star Wars themed cupcakes. Um, then the evening before, I made basically as a kind of a give back, but also because I want to, I made uh, German meatballs. Um, and we had a um, family friend Katie over. And, and we all love Katie. Um, and my mom sent me this picture. And basically, she made my favorite uh, cake, mousse au chocolat cake. And they obviously ate it without me because it's in Germany. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know. Um, um, and uh, so, yeah, um, my next thing is about the, um, uh -huh. uh, right, um, the next thing is uh, here with um, all the exchange students. And I want to say that was the first um, exchange student conference. And um, it was, uh, we, we held kind of, uh, yes, it was, because we all went on stage and uh, presented each other. And um, it was great because we had kind of a fair, so like um, future outbounds or like people who thought about doing exchange here. Um, went there and informed themselves about countries. So I spoke to like several people, and I think I was one girl. I think I spoke like half an hour too, which was super fun. Um, so yeah, I am I am right right here in the back, a um, little hidden. Um, but yeah, so that's why I got to meet everybody who's uh, in the North Star District here with me, um, and which I most of them at least I will uh, shortly see in uh, at the end of the week when we start our East Coast trip, and I'm super excited for that. Um, so yeah, um, and then continuing an old topic is having fun with the Sokos family. So here we are on the um, medieval fair, medieval festival, um, <laughs> where um, I think this time JT got a drumstick. Or was, was it Gator? I'm not sure. Um, it was one of those. Um, so that was that. And then they also took me to a St. Paul Saints game. That's just a video of uh, them having people dress up during, uh, I think, between uh, an innings change, I want to say. Um, so yeah, um, so that was just that was the, the summer. The beginning of the summer was great. Um, we uh, that's when we were still next to the school. So like, um, if ever desired, JT and I would just go over to the field and like play frisbee or soccer or anything. Or um, yeah, so that was uh, super fun. Um, and so school progressed, and it was actually fairly early uh, during school. It was a uh, Hoko home homecoming, um, which um, I uh, helped. Um, with, do with because uh, uh, Homecoming Jefferson is a um, show choir fundraiser. So um, I helped building that. And so, yeah, I went with a big group of show choir kids. And some of them aren't a show choir, but most of them are. And it was super fun. And I think that's also where I made like, like, like many new connections also in show choir because, um, you know, I just, I'm kind of there. And it's, I always need like some time to get warm with people. And I feel like that, that really helped a lot. Um, so then we have obviously two uh, very good, uh, very cute um, um, subjects uh, of cute little little show choir boys. Um, <laughs> to the to the right, to the right is my or to the to the right is uh, Gabe, um, which I have hung out so much, and to the left is uh, Teddy. And um, Teddy is Teddy is um, you can't really describe Teddy, but Teddy is super fun to be around with, and um, yes, everybody, everybody everybody really loves him. Um, and uh, then there was Halloween, and um, Rotary has their um, Halloween, um, their Halloween party, and um, I am right here, and this is a onesie, and this is yes, it is Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Um, I, wa I, I want to say for that JT has the matching Winnie the Pooh onesie um, because um, we we thought we might need them for a show choir because apparently a show choir thing to like when you go on like long tours you just hop on a onesie. So we thought we would uh, <laughs> partner up in the future. Um, so yeah, that was um, it. Was um, we went actually we um, we drove over to Wisconsin, um, right over across the border, and we had a day out. Like we walked around the whole area a lot. We were we did um, pumpkin carving, which I knew because we do that in Germany. But apparently, many exchange students have never heard of it. So I think like it was a fun experience for them. And then we had in um, we put out all the pumpkins, and then we had like kind of a, like vote who had the prettiest pumpkin. I didn't win, um, but I thought mine was obviously beautiful. Um, <laughs> So um, and then we had so it was a super fun night. We actually got um, one of our exchange student people right there. Um, can I find him off the bat? I don't think so. But um, he actually gave us. Actually, he is right here. 
Uh, he, he, he did DJing because he actually kind of does that as a hobby. So he has like some programs on his uh, laptop for that. Um, and then we, we German kids actually got him to put some, some German party beats on there. Um, and we, we got off to that. And then, yeah, we have some costumes. Um, this right here is Magnus. Magnus is uh, one of the exchange students I arrived with. And he actually uh, did a, had an overnight at uh, the Focus House. Where, um, and we took him to uh, the whole thing because um, he is actually living like close to Lake Superior in Wisconsin in a super rural area. So getting from anywhere, like where he has to be, is always kind of like a four hour ride down here to the Twin Cities. Um, so that was fun, and that was me. And I think actually there was a costume contest, and I think we just called ourselves the, the Safari Group. And I think we actually won like second place, I want to say. Um, so um, yes, um, and then I inevitably, through Show Choir, because I really like it, got into uh, theater. And, um, and I just went to the, the auditions, and obviously I was shooting for the lead, right? Shoot high. Um, <laughs> And I got very close. I got Mr. Tamnus, and I think everybody who was there um, remembers, uh, remembers that. Um, so yeah, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was um, my first play. Jefferson, didn't even, even um, though in my opinion, doesn't come quite close to the musical we did. It was a super cool experience, because um, for my theater experience, I did some theater in uh, fifth grade and in seventh grade. Um, but both of them were very briefly and with very like easy um, like not not really with like a backdrop where you have like uh, I don't know like a winter forest or whatever, but like very simple uh, things. And seeing this and hearing some people that you know I don't know they had like they would love to have a fly space above the um, stage or whatever was like something completely new to me. And so basically this this whole experience theater for experience for me at some points really just was Broadway because um, I just didn't knew it better. Um, so yeah, we practiced a lot. We practiced hard. This is a video I didn't uh, change out, but um, we taught Juliet this. Uh, also one of our quits how to do a, a cartwheel, and that should be right here, but it's not. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, I played Mr. Tumnus, and I was apparently, I was told the mood, the mood setter, and in the middle, that's a selfie I sent to my parents because um, <laughs> they wanted to see. And then to the um, bottom, uh, I think for you it's bottom left, is um, Jessie. She played, um, she played one of the leads, you know, the, the, uh, one of the siblings. And um, so we got, uh, during the show, we got uh, very good together because we had uh, lots of scenes together. And um, um, also I had fans, which I was very happy about because I never had fans. Um, um, obviously, obviously to the to the left is uh, JT. Obviously, JT is always my biggest fan. Um, but no, I had actually some little kids like or like their mom asking for a picture, which I was very happy about because um, otherwise it was only obviously the lead characters and the brave fighters. But um, yeah, so that just like told me I did a good job and that made me uh, very happy. Um, so. Um, the, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was during October, November, and uh, December. So my next big event is obviously Christmas. And to the right, you see a Christmas tree, how he stood in my living room back in Germany. Um, and I thought I'd just put that on there. And then to the left is JT being happy about uh, a dartboard. Because by December, I think it was uh, November 16th or 17th, I want to say, November 17th, uh, the show quests moved over to Edina in their new house and uh, took me with. They didn't leave me. Um, gladly, um, and um, we were a lot, uh, and th there is now they have a, a super duper awesome base basement, which uh, um, starting with I think also the uh, new dartboard um, JT is next to. We kind of or sl slowly got transformed into a man cave, so next to it there is now also a kicker table, um, and um, actually on the other side, which you don't see right now, there's a super large screen. Um, to like watch TV shows and movies and whatsoever. Um, so yeah, um, haha, what do I have here? Um, let's look at my, look at my, ooh, right, Christmas. I got, I got a water bottle for Christmas. Well, I got more, more, more things. I got a water bottle for Christmas, which I still use, and it's my, it's my daily driver now. Um, I got um, a cat puzzle with like a little like furry part in the middle, with like some fake fur, which is super cute. And actually, I, I started puzzling that, I think, on the day, and, um, then JT and Julian came to help, uh, help, excuse me. And basically, afterwards, I think they busted out every puzzle they have downstairs. And the next two weeks, um, I like laying around in my bed as I'm awake. But so like there was like days where I came around uh, like downstairs at like 11 in the morning, um, and I saw JT and Julian downstairs puzzling for like two hours already. And so we like, I think there were like two like thousand five hundred pieces puzzle. We like puzzled together and. It was, there was a, was a very, very fun um, uh, activity to do after, over, the, um, over the holidays, uh, Christmas holidays. And then also I got um, Rick and Morty socks. I'm a, a big Rick and Morty fan. It's a great TV show. 
they are right here. Um, I, I, I wore them today because I thought it, it's fitting. Um, so um, yes, promptly, promptly after Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe was done, um, the next play was announced, or was the, the um, uh, auditions were announced. Um, so I applied for Fahrenheit 451. Um, for Fahrenheit 451 is where I got to meet Laura and Gabby, which also directed the um, Chicago, our musical. Um, and again, I shot high, you know, for the lead. Um, but I don't know, it was very, the, the audition process was a little different this time. And so I ended up being, um, being one of the uh, firemen with um, a little less stage time as I would have wished. And I was uh, um, anticipating from uh, Lion, Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. But nonetheless, uh, stage time. And um, we, we, we had to cut together the whole play. The whole t play is actually a two act play, but we had to uh, put it in one act and 35 minutes. Um, so yeah, n not much time. So we took the most important scenes. And I think we did a really good job. Um, and when we went to our competition, we placed third uh, out of four. And the first two, um, and the first two people uh, and the first two only uh, get to the next stage. So we, we just missed it, I think, by like one uh, judge's vote, I want to say. Um, but yeah, so it was an interesting ex experience because you had like the, the, the scene change had to just go and everything had to just work and it was uh, very, very interesting. Um, and now I want to come to one part, I think, which dictated the, or like not dictated, dictated sounds so mean, but like had the most influence on me this year. And that was definitely, without a doubt, show choir. In January, we had our dessert in a show, um, which is basically the first, um, first like showing to the public of what we uh, have produced and what we've worked on so far. Um, and um, I also I did a supercut of a video, which I um, sadly won't be able to uh, show because we have some audio problem. Uh, we have some audio issues here, and with audio, I feel like the whole thing is kind of kind of misses the point. Um, but yeah, so show choir, show choir wasn't only a great experience. So like I, I did choir um, in, in elementary school. And so I was, um, um, and how I got to show choir, that's what I want to talk about, how I got to show choir. And um, so I was about to do soccer because I'm a German. Um, no, I did, uh, <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did soccer for 10 years in Germany. And I thought I might as well give it a try here. But I had an injury um, already happening in Germany. Um, which then basically came back to uh, that I still wasn't, was unable to properly play it here. Um, and JT wasn't show choir, and he already, like, while I was saying, oh, I'll do soccer, he always was like, hey, you should, you should go by, you should, you should look at that. Um, and then I was like, yeah, no, I won't be able to. And so basically, I think the day after or the week after, JT just texted our choir director and was like, hey, can you come over? And the choir director was yes. And so I did show choir, which was super fun. And thank you so much for getting me into that, JT. That was literally, that is really just the most influential experience. I want to even say all probably of my life, like including this whole like exchange program, obviously, because I made so many friends there, even though like the whole competition season is done, I uh, hang around with almost daily. Um, so yeah, we had um, we had a whole like weekend weekend of extens extensive preparation where one of our bonding activities was shooting self selfies. So I kind of got the highlights here. Um, and then um, so show choir season started off very good um, and was super fun to go into all the competitions. I only overslept twice and I still was on time. Everything was fine. Um, and one time that is actually thanks to Michelle because she woke up with me and um, knocked on my door 15 minutes before I had to leave and was like, Max, don't you have something? I was like, yes, indeed. Um, <laughs> so that was, that was uh, very interesting. Yes, so February 1st, February 1st, um, after um, having six beautiful months with a show quiz, or yes, six months, I want to say, um, I uh, went to the Rolf and This was uh, our first night's uh, dinner, and we had a taco bar. And with the Rolf I discovered another side of me, which I already started to discover at the show quiz. I do enjoy cooking quite a lot. And so I took more liberty in the kitchen. Um, and so uh, during spring break, I want to say, when I was kind of bored, I um, made uh, self-made uh, Rice Krispie treats. I made self-made ice cream and cookies. And the ice cream, uh, ice cream trend continues till today. We just uh, did another batch last week. Um, and so to the left, you see um, ice cream with pancakes. We did like a super fancy breakfast this one uh, day. That was fun. So um, yes, um, back, to, back to show choir. Um, show choir competition, we're always very close. We placed second or third, always. Um, 
we uh, got best vocals. Um, we got best vocals quite a lot, best solos. Eliana did such a great job. And then at North Pole, we won. And I excuse my, my look, but I was very tired. I think it was like 11 in the evening. We've been there the whole day. Um, yes, we won at North Pole. We were grand champions. We got best vocals, we got best band, and Eliana got best solos. And Jive, which is our youth choir, um, got our, um, got, got also won their um, division. And then if you uh, see my hair there, um, if you remember Homecoming, um, right before Homecoming was the, la the, the last time I cut my hair. So it grew to that length over there. And um, after that, I thought I might, uh, I, to change it because it got quite annoying. Um, so uh, I did that. Um, yeah, so I got a haircut, which was uh, super, super helpful, honestly. Then, yeah, this is where I wanted to show the video, which uh, we'll, we'll postpone for another time. Well, we can upload it to the Facebook page. There we go. Um, yeah, we, no, we should do that. I will, I will get that. It's, it's on the computer, right? So we can definitely get that on the, on the, fa uh, on the Facebook page. Um, it's just, it's basically all like just um, cuts off of different um, competitions just put together to like eight minutes, I think. So it's uh, good. And um, yeah, so while So Quiet season went great, Minnesota winter hit. I just wanted to include that to, uh, <laughs> as, as a visual. Um, I think I got Chipotle with JT that time and we just, yeah, I was, I was really baffled by the amount of snow which uh, falls here. Um, it's, uh, so was we, so was everyone else, right. Um, like there is, um, I don't know, like in, in, in Germany, we have like an inch at most, or like in Berlin, and then it's basically gone by the next day. Um, so yeah, we also don't have like negative 30 Fahrenheit. We have like, we have like positive like 20 Fahrenheit. It's like the cold gets in Berlin. So, um, but I made it all through winter in jeans. So um, that was good. Um, and then we went to uh, our last com uh, show quiet competition of the, uh, of the year was uh, to Kansas City. And some pictures here, we went to the uh, Jazz Museum and to the Steamboat Museum. Um, and I think Kansas City was probably not even one of our best competition, even though it was the biggest. But the um, groups there were super awesome, and everybody there was there was like one group who had like a Frankenstein theme and had like moving gears in the background. It was it was it was uh, like it was wow. I was like that was like a super awesome experience. Um, so um, like I said, so choir um, just was so influential to me because I met so many nice friends. So those friends went together and then they took me up to a day trip to Duluth. Um, in the middle there you see Gabe again. Um, so we went to Duluth for a day which was super awesome and then when we came back we got cake and I dropped my cake and it was very sad. Um, and now we went to Duluth and as you can see um, the ice uh, on the two the coast was still out so um, I don't know if you know there's this like hut kind of out of out the sea, this like uh, concrete hut which was kind of abandoned a couple of years ago as far as I learned. And so we walked out on that and just climbed around on that. And um, there's me and this is my other friend. This is Tom. Tom graduated, and he's also back there. He graduated. Uh, he graduated last year, but um, the friends I got, they are still hanging out with them. And we also um, did the, I guess, obligatory trip to Grandma's. Um, so uh, yes, um, and um, so yeah, with show quiet season done, and we went to Duluth. It is um, it is March. It is April. And Chicago came around, and I auditioned for Chicago. Actually, about theater, um, if you do four shows, I also had the student directed. I sadly don't have any pictures of that. But if you do four shows in theater, you letter in that. Just wanna... um, no, so uh, she, Chicago, Chicago uh, came around. And um, I don't know, the, the, the whole way getting there was, I think, very rough and very draining for many people, but the whole show looked so good, and I have those pictures our directors took from our uh, practices. And in all honesty, I don't know about you guys, but like, I, I, I would also like take that of like, as like an, not a high school performance, like just from a look, but like of like an actual, like, I don't know, like something that would be at the artistry, for example. Um, I just, uh, Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> no, um, no, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I enjoyed the whole show when we actually got to perform it so much and when we put it together properly. And it is, it is I think, my, f my favorite show, my f uh, definitely one of my favorite things to perform into uh, ever, ever. And then also there were some insiders. I um, just want to point that. Um, and then, so right now I'm closing up, obviously. Um, that's from the show Choir Banquet, banquet um, which was uh, super cool. Um, and then I also did volleyball. I think I told, talked about that a lot. Um, I did volleyball, and volleyball was super fun. Um, I got the Varsity's Hustle Award. We did our own awards, so I had uh, obviously the most hustle. And we had a lot of fun. As you can see, I got it wrapped in the net, uh, I think, our last home game. And um, yeah, our JV went uh, undefeated, actually. 
eight o season for our JV team. Our varsity team didn't quite make it, but we were super close. Like all the games we like lost were like by like two points or something. So like we were like super onto it. And then I think um, volleyball. When I would wrap up with like some candid shot of our seniors. Um, <laughs> um, so um, and then just recently um, I had. Okay, I'm gonna speed up a little. I guess I feel okay. Um, so uh, we had our district conference um, where we went to, and um, so that is. Uh, I got to see all the exchange students again, which was um, because of show choir or because of Chicago. I missed some during the year meetings completely. Um, but um, so I got to see them all again, which was super fun. And we met our uh, main chaperones for the East Coast trip. And she told us funny things like last year she spent $6,000 on gifts to exchange students during the like two weeks of tripping. So um, yeah, um, and she's planning on doing that again. So I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so um, yeah, everybody got their pin, had their pins and was dressed up and was super fun. And then I also, like I missed or left early other things, I had to also leave early here because on this evening there was prom. Um, haha. And there's JT again. Um, and um, I, will, I will say without a doubt I had uh, the most beautiful prom date, this is uh, my opinion. Um, but um, also if you look, uh, so my prom is obviously in green, and if you uh, look for the dress you won't find it, she is even that talented, she made that herself. Um, uh, just wanted to point that out. Um, so then, yeah, prom was super fun, and it was at MOA, and I am not a rights person, but I did the bikini bottom plunge twice. Um, <laughs> no, I really, um, that was actually also kind of coming out of my comfort zone there and doing those rights. And then to the right you see Sarah, and um, Sarah is um, kind of show choir mom, and um, she, like, the people, she, she lives right next to us, and uh, she gave me often rights to school, and I, uh, Gave her lots of chocolate for that, and um, <laughs> and um, no, but Sarah is literally Sarah is I think one of the most influential people uh, I I got to know this year. She's like always so nice. She's always ready to help, and she's just onto it. It is super awesome. So those are just some pictures. And then um, for Easter, I got a nice Easter present, and then we went to um, soccer. Um, um, a one German soccer club is on a kind of a tour around the U.S. to kind of promote themselves. So they I got very lucky, and they stopped by, and they played against MN United. And um, they won 1-0, um, though the game was rather rough and kind of boring, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, so the mascot to the the mascot, the mascot to the right, the mascot to the right is um, called Hertinho, and that is their mascot. It's the the club is called Hertha, uh, Hertha Berlin, and Hertinho is their mascot since Berlin is kind of the like America has the eagle, kind of Berlin has the bear. Um, so um, yeah, or Minnesota has the loon. Um, so um, yeah, and so uh, I will say with Michelle and Mike and a, and a friend of theirs and. Um, the husband of Michelle's friends actually um, moved to Berlin and lives in Berlin for quite some months now and is an architect as far as I know. And um, Michelle's friend is, I think, next, no, actually this October, I think you said, is planning to uh, go follow him and they completely will move to Germany, which I feel like is quite awesome. So yeah, there's just uh, some shots of um, Allianz Field. I, I, um, I will, um, you should go visit Allianz Field, it's really beautiful. And um, here to the uh, uh, right, I don't know if you can read it, it says Brew Hall, so they have like this whole like beer area and everything. So it's, it's a great time. Um, <laughs> I didn't have anything, I didn't have anything. I, I, I no, I didn't. No, I, I didn't. I, um, <laughs> um, so, um, I'm, and, um, so now I am four slides before finishing up, and so I want to talk about my friends some more. Um, so and to, the left, to the left you see Sean, and Sean got me, um, introduced me to fishing. I've never been fishing before. It's, uh, I always thought it was quite boring, but there's actually quite some thrill to it. So to the right you see me catching my first fish. It's a little sunny over there. Um, <laughs> um, I wanted to give it a kiss and it smacked me, um, so that's that. Um, and then I uh, sent that picture into my family group chat, and um, so my, my, my cousin sent a picture of catching his first fish ever and was like twice as big. Um, and uh, my, my, my dad, you know, he was, my dad loves me, um, but he like texts things like, um, oh, no, you got the bait fish, where's the actual one, right? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and so uh, this was at Centennial, actually, and then later this day I kept hanging out with Sean, and later this day we went fishing again. And then literally on the tree next to us was a little raccoon, and Sean loves raccoons, so I thought I might just include that. Um, no, it was like, like literally right next to us. I think when I was here, like the podium of the beamers was like the tree, and the raccoon was right on there, and was, it was super cute. Um, and then just recently there was the Rotary International Conference, and I thought I'd bring that in. So um, Don and Bob with their uh, wives, I think, um, came down to Berlin, and connected. I connected them with my grandfather, and um, they had a 
I think, four hour boats tour through Berlin, and they went to the Rotary meeting, on fr uh, which is in Germany or in Berlin, with my Rotary Club on Fridays. And, um, and then they ended up in my backyard. That's my backyard. Um, and they had barbecue with my parents and my, my family. And I asked my mom today while I was FaceTiming her. They also saw my room. She cleaned it up, though. So um, it was fine. <laughs> um, so I guess I won't be here next time when Don and everybody. Don is apparently on a, on a plane home right now. And um, Bob is in Prague, as far as, I, as my mom told me. So I hope uh, they will give great reports uh, of uh, their whole uh, Germany experience. Um, and yes, so those pictures are just from recently. Um, after um, my friend group started playing volleyball a lot, after um, we started with Newcam, but then since I did volleyball and Sean did volleyball, we got them all hooked in volleyball. And this is afterwards, and we played uh, a video game at a friend's place. And to the left, that is Zoe. And um, um, I love Zoe a lot. Zoe is such a nice person to be around. But uh, this evening, she snatched, snatched my phone and uh, took photos. And so I think I got her back with that one. Um, uh, <laughs> So uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I had I had a wonderful year. I am so grateful for everybody having me. Um, I hope uh, this talk with Skid back there consider going abroad at least a year or like some month um, as soon as I can. I hope Madeline, you have the greatest year of all, and I hope when you come back, you have at least an equal equally as shiny jacket. And um, and um, yes, I am so incredibly grateful for being here. Um, I will not lie, the East Coast trip feels like an, like an um, early, early goodbye, even though I will be back. Um, I might not, um, I will be back from my East Coast trip July 1st, and I don't think I will be in, back in time to make it to the Rotary meeting on this Monday. But I think if I'll talk to Josie, they, she might just be able to get my parents there, because my parents will be there uh, June 30th, right after. Um, they will just miss uh, the, the, uh, your guys' fundraiser. I just uh, was, lost the name. Um, Cheese for, cheers for Terry, there we go. Um, they, they will just miss that, but I might just, Josie might just get them to Rotary, I think. Um, so yes, um, thank you so much for this whole year. Um, it's been an experience and a half, I will not lie. Um, thank you for having me here every Monday and having to speak about myself and listening to that. Um, thank you to Josie, especially, I think, for like, organizing everything and like, having my back as needed. Um, same goes uh, for Saul. I guess he gone. gone. But sa same, same, same goes. Same goes for Saul. He like uh, had my back very discreetly, but like he like checked in with me every month um, just to make sure everything's all right and everything is all right. Thank you to the showcase so much for like being like such a like great like first host family and um, and yeah like. Uh, I don't know how um, I don't know how grateful Philip had has to be to like have you guys as a first host family as well. He is because um, you guys are literally so incredible, and you got me hooked on art again. I want to say, and um, I will I will miss you guys quite a lot. And um, and then obviously Mike and Michelle who had me for the last part of the year, um, who would just. Um, I don't know, they, they just are like, hey, you know, like, you do you, and then we do some things together, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And um, so, like, there's, like, days where I, because Michelle's working or is on her events where I haven't seen Michelle for, like, a whole day or, like, two days because, like, I'm just out and about, so is she. And, um, yes, just thank you so incredibly much for this whole thing. And um, I, will, I, will, I will miss it so much, and I will do my best to like find a holiday and where I can come back next year and just say hello really quick because that's it's my last night. That's just what I what what is my like plan for the nearest future now. So uh, thank you very much.